Welcome back to All The Gear. Today on All The Gear, I'm gonna show you how to build this. This is a gravity feed chicken feeder made from a 20 liter bucket and all 3D printable parts that you can download and print at home. So I've just added another three chickens to my flock. And this has caused me some concern about the availability of food for them because I've been feeding them out of just crappy stock chicken feeders. I want a solution that allows it to self-refill at the same time not giving access to the whole lot at once. And I've seen a few designs that work. They allow the grain to gravity feed down to an opening that the chicken can only stick its head into. And because the grain is weighing down all around where the chicken's head is, nothing can get in. And I wanted to use this. This is just a standard 20 liter bucket because this is probably going to be available to the widest range of people. So I jumped onto a computer program and I designed three parts. So I wanted the chickens to be able to stick their head into the bucket at the same time as not being able to stick anything else in there. So they can't just sort of throw the seed out because they can be very particular. So the first part I wanted to design was the part that fitted around the outside of the bucket. So it needed to conform to the bucket. I designed two parts that fit from each side through a 64 millimeter hole. 64 millimeters because we will be using a 64 millimeter hole saw bit to drill the hole. That's two and a half of your freedom units. So I put the design in a printer. This is all printed in black PET G at 0.4 millimeters. Then the parts all print without supports. So there is a flat surface to each of these parts that will lay against a print bed. And this is the result. This is two separate parts that fit together and create the junction where the chicken will feed through. Now I also needed a way of making sure that the grain fell in and around this part so that it would allow the grain to fall towards where the chicken is feeding rather than you know some random place in the bottom of the bucket. And my solution to that was a kind of grain funnel. But because I actually want more than one place for the chickens to feed from in this bucket because there's six chickens, I want three of them to be able to feed at a time. I wanted to have three of these heads equally distance around the outside of the bucket, kind of like this. So I need the grain to feed in three different directions. And to achieve this, I designed this rather deadly looking insert. This one was interesting because I didn't even know that I would be able to print it because it's such a large insert, but it fits on most printers beds and it actually doesn't take up that much filament. This is the result. I've designed the base so that it can be printed directly off the bed with very little overhang. It's actually a really neat little design. And this just fits into the base of our bucket like so. How good. For your reference, all of the parts for this print, 450 grams. So all of this can be printed with 450 grams of filament. And as a, for instance, my filament costs me $12 per kilo. That's less than $6 for all of the 3D printed parts, which is not bad at all. There's one more thing you'll need. I've designed these with an M5 bolt in mind. So they will connect together and on the back, I've made impressions for the nut. Mine are hex heads that are countersunk. This will allow you to tighten them up from the outside and the nuts will be held in place by the print. So let's get to setting up the bucket. All we do is we flip the bucket upside down, take our insert, place it on top of the bucket and we can mark out the three points at which we want to have our feeders attached. Like so. So this will probably be the same for you because it's the same print size. So uh, we're doing our hole 100 millimeters up from our dot. I love a round number. 
and we're going to drill out our holes. So start in forward till you get your pilot hole done and then finish in reverse because you don't want it to grab and rip. Um, and this is a metal hole saw. So. And if you've got it in reverse, it's also going to let you release the plastic a lot better as well. Okay, so we've got our holes in our bucket and now we're going to pilot some holes for the bolts that we're going to bolt it on with. The back part of our print has this lip on it and that will fit up through the hole like so and it will actually hold this in the correct position as well. So the print can actually hold itself in place um, while you work on it. The bolts are countersunk, so they hide away nicely in the print and they should just fit within the recesses that are designed for them. Before you put these on though, you're gonna to wanna to put that bottom piece in. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt all these on now. And there is the first one bolted in place. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> And this is what it looks like internally. It doesn't come out once you've got all these in place. I'm gonna make a couple of those inserts for different sized buckets. Generally, I think they're gonna be within like 10 to 20 mil of each other, all the buckets, but I'll just make a couple that fit slightly larger and slightly smaller buckets. All right, so here I have some layer mash for the girls and we're gonna fill it up and see how it performs. So, and, Pour it in. Whoop. That's actually perfect. That's gonna work really well. Okay, I'll see if I can get a shot of in there for you. You can see in there, you can see the grain in there and it's just created like, kind of like a water level of grain. So that will be absolutely perfect. Look at that. Well, that's turned out incredibly well. So let's take it out and see if the girls like it. So it will need to be raised up a little bit. I'm just gonna use this cinder block. It's the perfect size. Let's just perch this up. And we can see if they cotton on. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. I wonder if you can lead a chicken to food. Come on, put your head in there, look. Hey, did you just get it? Look at that. Ah, oh, it's working. <laughs> this is great. Well, I think this is a fantastic success. Once they fully learn that there is food inside the bucket, they'll easily get how to use this thing. They've just never come across anything like this before. As I said, I've been using these horrible things for so long and they're just open to the weather and the mice, but this is what they're used to. Um, so it might take a little bit for them to get used to this, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of All The Gear. All of the files are available on my Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. And there are hundreds of other files available as well from my other channel, Who Chose. So head over there for the 3D print files and I'll see you next time on All The Gear.